Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to upload a Node.js application to render.com. Now, what is render.com? Render.com, it's basically just a free and very easy way to upload either websites or backends to the web. So as you can see here, we have static sites, we have services, so like Node.js and stuff like that. You have Postgres SQL, so you have a bunch of stuff and it's cheap or it's free. The only downside to it is I don't even think you have any storage whatsoever if you don't pay for it. So it would have to be pretty simple APIs, but besides that, it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna show you guys what you have to do. So I have this Node.js application. I'm just gonna increase my terminal a little bit and increase this. So it's a pretty basic app. It's just got a server, so how we run it, uh, we can do node server or source server. And then if we pull open Postman, it's for image uploads, which, I mean, you can't even save things on render, but either way, um, as you can see, just to get at the root directory returns hello server. So it's pretty easy. I'm just gonna open up this. You're gonna need a GitHub account. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a new repository. I think I've already done this. I don't think I deleted it. Yeah, I've already done this, but you're gonna create a repository. And click create repository. One thing that I need to add in is before you upload your app to GitHub, you're gonna want to either make a git ignore with, so dot git ignore in the root directory with this stuff, or you're just gonna wanna rm slash rf node modules and package lock. Dot JSON, not package.json, package lock, especially the node modules, because that's gonna be a lot of data that you don't need to be storing on GitHub. You're gonna get init, so in the terminal, get init. Then you're gonna do git branch dash capital M main. Then you're gonna do git add dot. Then you're gonna do git commit M initial commit. Okay. Then you're gonna come to this page. You're gonna copy this git remote origin you're going to paste it in here and then you're going to do get push you origin main so you're going to have to have i think like ssh keys set up on your computer so you can find another tutorial for that so what you're going to do is come to render.com you're going to click sign in you're going to sign in with your github account you're going to authorize render and you're going to complete sign up okay so i had already done that before so it was kind of weird but once you have connected your github and made your render account you're just going to go new web service you're going to click connect github you're going to you can either do all repositories or only select repositories i would do only select because they don't need to see all your repositories just for privacy reasons Click URL session, upload backend, click install, and I don't know what just happened there. Okay, so click new. As you could see, click new web service and click connect. And okay, so this is going to be the name, which will be our URL. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this and then just my username so your root directory you can read this but basically the root directory i just put a dot okay and i'll show you and that just means current directory so that's going to be the main directory right here so and i'm also going to make this bigger so environment is node if you're using node you can also use python go Docker, a bunch of stuff. Then you can select your region. Then your branch from your GitHub. So this will pull 
from your GitHub. So your build command for this, mine is npm install. If you're using TypeScript, you, it might be like, I think it's tsc dot or something. And then start command, whatever you're doing to start. So remember how we put the current directory as dot. So in that case, we're gonna need to go source slash server dot js because that's how I'm running my app. So if I do node source server dot js, that'll run my app. So oh and I messed that up. It needs to be node. It needs to be node space source slash server dot js. And then if you just scroll down, that is all. So at this point, it's going to install it and it's going to run it and it's going to take a minute because this is a free service. So it's obviously slow. So you're just going to have to wait. So after about four minutes, it will say started on port 10,000, which is interesting because I run it on 5,000. So they changed that, but you will click this. Oh, where is it? Right here, this link, and you can go to it. You can see Hello Server. So the Node app is running, and that's all. So free backend, pretty simple. 